All right, crazy story, you guys. As you can see, we're at the airport. That is because we have taken a last minute flight to Dead Man's Key, um, which is on Long Island. And, um, Sounds reasonably foreboding, doesn't it? It does. We've taken the boat to a safe place, so she's going to be okay for the week that we're gone because there is a free diving competition. Us, on the other hand, at Dead Man's Key. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen there. So there's a free diving competition there called Vertical Blue and Riley's been in contact with a guy called Adam who's Australian and he's going to be there and he said that we should come and hang out and see what's going on there and it will be pretty interesting to see the blue hole. You guys will know the blue hole, it's pretty famous and I'm excited to jump in the water and see what it looks like. So that's where we're going. Are you excited? I am. I get to meet Adam, Adam Stern, the Australian free dive champion and all-round legend. Um, and also, I'm going to jump in and see how deep I can go. With a little bit of instruction from him, I'm sure it'll be reasonable. So that'll be good. Yes, this is in fact the Long Island Airport. Apparently it's recently been extended, which the locals are very happy about. This is Marsha. Hi, I'm Marsha. I'm a native from Long Island. She was going to take us to our Airbnb, which apparently was quite hard to find by ourselves. And this is Mr T from the car rentals place. They're death traps, but he was pretty funny and we liked him. <laughs> <laughs> So our house is a little off the beaten track. <laughs> this view is insane. Epic. This was our pad that we'd managed to snag on Airbnb. It was cheap, maybe because she'd said no hot water and no drinking water, but we were like, hey, we live on a boat and that's not really going to be a problem. We were the last house along the road with miles of freedom, goats, and a view over the cliffs to the Atlantic swell. The only way they stay up is by using this. Let's open this door up. And that's the view. This is ridiculous. This is so nice. What have we got? Down here. What is that? Look at all the frogs. Oh, it's frogs. <laughs> Cute. Hey. Look at this guy. Marsha got us settled into the house and we hit the sack pretty early that night. She's done it! Success! Well done. This coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I made it all by myself. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> it's out of this weird machine. I've seen you machine. do more impressive things in the past. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I went for a walk this morning. It was beautiful. And I went down to the beach that uh, Riley and I planned to go swimming. And I was pretty disappointed to see like mountains of plastic everywhere. The whole beach was just covered. Um, so I guess it's coming straight from the Atlantic and yeah, um, it? it's pretty bad. I'll show you. What are you doing? Those frogs were so loud last night in bed, you would not believe. And I forgot to bring earplugs. And I had a terrible sleep. <laughs> it's nice to listen to them, like, you know, it is a beautiful sound, but just not all night. Try and keep it down tomorrow night, all right? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> and once one starts, they all start. Get my shoe out of there. 
Och så var vi färdiga. He- So today we're meeting up with Adam and Aaron and some other friends at the Blue Hole. So we're going to see it for the first time today, lunchtime. Really excited, but before then we need to try and find the mini market and stock up the fridge because we are on our last rations of fresh water that Marsha gave us. And um, yeah, I, luckily I bought some um, pre-made healthy hot chocolates with me, so I'm having that for breakfast. But yeah, we need to get some supplies. Oh my gosh, do not. Wait. Oh, he's strong. Is he? Yeah. Ah, and he's trying to. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's close enough. I got him, put him down. Run and see if you can get the road by Daddy. What are those things? What are they again? Let's get one. <laughs> the sun. Okay, bye. Can't believe that is Remember that person rode in and said that we're like chipmunks mm. scurrying around. We always seem to be on the hunt for food, yeah. As you can see, we are pretty hungry. And you're not going to believe it, but we forgot to buy water, which is the whole reason we went there, really. Oh my god, this car just all of a sudden, out of absolutely nowhere, the radio just turns itself on and then up to a level that has clearly scarred Elena and I. That's the second time it's done it. We'll really try and film it. It's it's insane. I remember seeing a movie years ago where there was this like weird experiment being done and everyone like in a World War II setting and everyone died from this like loud noises it's so horrendously loud i nearly crashed the car the first time and just then it it turned itself on and elena and i both just started panicking off with the <laughs> indicator on slammed the brakes on and like unfortunately she got to it before it got to peak volume because it is i'm sure that it would do damage yeah. if we had the kid in the back oh the child gosh. the baby who we love um it'd just be it would be a disaster so we can't turn it off. We can't figure out how to turn it off. There's no off button on the whole thing. And I'm scared to push more buttons, but... I blame the student representative council. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Tying my hair up with a leaf. Twig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who have we got here? Uh, g'day, g'day. I'm Adam. Uh, I'm an Australian competitive freediver oh, and... Uh, oh, hey, hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Ty. Really? So you, <laughs> oh what else we can find on the beach? Oh. <laughs> so, I'm um, here competing in a competition in the Bahamas and Riley and Elena are obviously in the neighbourhood so they figured they'd come around and check out what we're doing. And, Thanks um, for showing us everything here, mate. We really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks Absolute for your pleasure. hospitality. They're Adam, super Adam's... hard people to be around. <laughs> so it makes it really hard to be hospitable. She's a wonderful editor. <laughs> so Adam, Adam's got a YouTube channel and he's huge on Instagram so please go and check all that Great stuff Great photographs. Out. This is Dean's Blue Hole. It's the deepest blue hole in the world with a depth of 202 metres or 663 feet. The hole is populated by snapper, jacks, tarpon, rays, turtles and tiny seahorses and the occasional shark. It's still unknown how it was formed exactly but it's said that the blue holes in the Bahamas formed somewhere around 15,000 years ago when the sea levels were lower. Sometimes these holes were formed by deeper groundwater gradually dissolving the limestone until the ceiling of these voids collapsed. The competition runs over 11 days and today was a rest day for all the competitors, although some still came down to the blue hole to practice. We were lucky enough to have a free day with Adam in the water to practice on the platform. You've changed outfits. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. <laughs>
Yeah, not too bad. Let's focus on stealing rather than the Wow! Good shit! But the second he caught them, he regretted it because he didn't want to. He's a hungry boy. I'm really happy. You're nearly done. Yeah. I filmed too late. <laughs> Look at those guys taking out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Aaron and Adam have taken us to Love Beach, that's where we are now, very romantic and Riley forgot his shorts so apparently he's going nude you guys. <laughs> this is Love Beach, a protected pool of water with only a tiny inlet to the open sea, located in a secret spot which we wouldn't have been able to find by ourselves. Oh, 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 oh. How long give it time? Oh no, look outside. Might just realize the clouds of May. Might just drift away. Thanks for watching you guys, please join us on Friday for part 2, uh, the competition and the after party. If you like that video guys, please give it a thumbs up, as you know that helps us out a lot. And first thing in the description, on the very first line we'll have a link to Adam's YouTube channel, so go and follow him as well, because he really knows how to free dive and he laughs a lot. He actually <laughs> makes me think that I'm funny. And like Elena said, the second half of this will be up when? Friday. Friday. Yeah. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day.